Yay, we have been reconnected. Welcome back if you guys got disconnected. Alright, so I'm logged in, so we're going to go to my library. My library. And the updated button. So this is the last time these things were updated. Nine eighteen. So for example, this is nine eighteen. Um, so I want to look for. Search my library for essentials. There it is. 9 2 2023. So I don't know why this didn't update. It should have updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and. get these fixed uh, extensions what am I doing it's mod this is the which one is this what did I click on oh, I don't want the readme text never mind cancel I want the one click druid mod download Fancy grounds, modules. I don't. I don't care if it loads. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. It's gonna say this already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Okay. Now we'll go to this one. Download. Should now take me to the same place. I don't want one. This exists. Do you want to replace it? Yep. Extension. This goes into the extensions. Replace it. Yep. This is also an extension. And replace it. Okay, so now everything is updated. We are ready to rock and roll, baby. It's not, I don't understand why it's not updating automatically, because it should, because I have his extensions updated. All right, so back to what we were doing. So that, I'll still get the errors while we're messing around today, but by when we play tomorrow, when I reload Fancy Grounds, actually, it'll be good to go. All right. So here's our encounter. Um, oh, for some reason, our tokens went away. That's weird. I'm actually going to change these. If you wait.
ready for fancy grounds to load. Um, tokens. Alright, let's go with the Vampire the Masquerade. remember exactly what it's called. Let's see. It's called I don't remember. So I'm just going to type vampire. It'll open. It'll give me the or it won't. Okay. Oh, maybe it's portraits that has that. Um, let me look. Check in, check in, check in. Glorious Gambit. Dungeon Master Toolkit. Yeah, it's got to be here, then it has to be um, portraits that has my. Here it is, Vampire the Masquerade. So now we'll see if it'll let us use some of these portraits as tokens or not. This cool one. It's unlocked. All right, so it'll let me place them all with the same one. Will it let me just swap out one? No. All right, so let's find the cool one that we want to use. Um, that's a striking individual right there. So this fight, the module that you have tells you if you need to update, it does not do it for you. The token swapper you are not using on 5e tables? Yeah, I am. That's why I, I updated that too. I just didn't do the readme files, I did the rest of them. Alright, so we'll go with uh, with that. I like those. And there's gonna be two of them. They'll have two little lackeys. All right, so we're going to put them on the roofs. We'll put the vampires on the roofs. Uh, I'm going to put them. What's, here, let's close this. Zoom in a little bit. Put that there. So they're there, and then the thugs are going to be in the street. They're going to be over here by the well. Or do you want them chilling by the cart or by the well? Let's say by the cart. Let's take them over here by the cart.
change this to water deep streets Last time I'd already I put some lights on here, um, so when we do the, see, so you can see they've got a lamp lantern here shining from here. The rest of it is dark. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some ambient light in here as well. So I'll click on the layer, click on here, go with uh, ambient presets. Let's see, we're going to go with moonlight. Boom. So now we have direction and light and stuff, length of the shadows cast. Token swapper should not be turned on in 5e, it's for other rule sets. Token Swapper should not be turned on in 5e. Okay. You can drag the vampire spawn three times into the encounter, then change it. Yeah, I know about that. Um, so what he's, uh, I'll, I'll touch base. Go back to what he's, t he's talking about in just a second here. So here is what it looks like now. So it's all grayish because the moonlight um, and then you had the light so that's cool because we have one person who does not have dark vision so that'll help them all right so what he's talking about is if i want three different vampires i think in this case it is significant enough to where i like that idea um so what he's talking about is you go like this and then you just drag it back make sure it's unlocked and then add it again and then add it again and then what you do is change this to one so now you still have three vampire spawns and then what you can and then we'll just make these uh, uh, I like this old lady and we'll go back to the original dude I picked him. And we open back up the map. We get rid of the player preview. And we'll go ahead and place him. I don't remember, so I don't remember who is who. So we're going to just throw her up here. Um, I'm actually going to put the Nosferatu up here because they be ugly. And I'm going to put her over here. Put him over here. Boom. All right. So see, so that that's how, that's what Drake was saying. You can, boom, boom, boom. I was thinking that we would need to start adding disadvantage to perception effects when using dark vision. Yeah. That's one thing I noticed. Dark fancy grounds doesn't set your ID on that encounter for the two news. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom. And make sure it is. Yeah, it'll, it'll read unknown monster, but that's okay. 
because I can't I don't feel like messing with building them again cool so I could do the same thing if I want individual thugs I don't care the other thing you can do is also is once it's added into your combat tracker you can then open up your assets and change the individual tokens there either want either way if you really want different tokens All right, so I like this. We're set and ready to go. All right, so you're saying token swapper should not be turned on in 5e. It's for other rule sets. Okay. Um, I'm afraid to mess with other. The only other one, obviously, I run is Starfinder. I haven't used token swapper for that some point I may try it but uh, so no I haven't I haven't done that okay so I have two encounters set and ready to go for their one while they're in water deep and then one while they're on our way home I think we're set and we're good to go with that So we're going to go ahead and call it here. I've got a game to jump on here in half an hour. It's part of CIE it's Critical Essentials. And then he has it separated for core, maybe. Yeah, I think he does. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He, Drake's not even sure what the uh, token swapper does. The module that you have tells you if it needs to update, it's not do it for you. Uh, actually, that's not true. It does actually update it automatically because a uh, pop up will jump up, boom, and say, and it only sh you can set it to where it does it. Let's see. I don't. Uh, I don't remember if it's here or if it's in the other one. Let's see. Activation. It is called. Oh yeah, I think I already checked here, and it doesn't exist. But there's a way to um, when it pops up and you load it. My game was canceled tonight. I'll come and harass y'all. Woo! -hoo, awesome. Looking forward to seeing it, Jingo. Uh, the monsters can use all the help they can get. So when that extension updater pops up on the bottom, it says up, update and close. So in theory, it should be updating all of his crap. And then you can set it to well, what I have it set for is it only pops up if I have things that need to be updated. So we will see. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on it because I don't like to think. I don't like to have to worry about and keep going. It, it is a module updater, not extensions. Correct. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I understand the, the difference you're talking about now. Yes, it has not been updating the extensions. So, all right. So let's fix. I'm going to jump, put the scale back. Scale UI again, it can be between 50 and 200. I typically like it at 80. All righty, there it is. Put that back. All right, so for those of you, since we're here, let me show you. Drake's newest video for me. All 
I'm just reading through some notes. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, so um, it was just talking about. So this is the newest Dawn of Flame. that he's done for me. For my Sunday night with Jingo is in also, so Jingo's getting a sneak peek. Just pause it for a second. Why is it being so pixelated? Charge again. What's happening? Shouldn't be this pixelated. There it goes. All right, let's try it again. Bingo, there he is, Dr. Aid. And Beaker, his companion. Seven as they explore the depths of the sun, looking for an ancient empire. Drake takes productions right there, baby. So, still a couple tweaks to come, but that is what it looks like. So check out Dick Takes. Make sure you follow, like him. He has YouTubes. He has um, Patreon, and of course the Twitch. So next time we will be working on our other, doing some mapping. Got to tweak a map for a uh, that's in a crystal dimension. Got to add some depth to it and stuff. So. We'll be looking at that. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe, whatever else you do. Enjoy the rest of your day.